Hi everyone. Now we will talk about view in Laravel. So first we'll discuss what is view, how we can make view in Laravel. See, in Laravel there are two ways to create view. First one we can create view files manually. Second one we can create view files with the help of command line. All right. After that we'll see how we can call view from the routers and controllers. How we can make nested view and call them. How to pass data to the view. How we can get to know if a view is exist or not in our project. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions related to view in Laravel. All right. So uh, now let's move on. First question: What is view? See, we know that view is a part of MVC architecture. I already uh, told you in the MVC part of this playlist, and where V denotes to the view. And in the view file, we basically put the UI part of our project, like the code which will be directly displayed to the uh, user right that data can be come from the database or that can be a static data also then let's understand that view in the depth with the help of this mvc architecture like how it will work properly see if any user trying to visit a laravel website or any mvc architecture website because laravel is also using mvc architecture right so first request will go to the controller right that controller will decide according to the request like it will directly need to load the view or need to go in the model first so in first case if directly need to load the view then that view will be directly visible to the user right and what we will put in this uh, 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 view file as i told you ui part like html or uh, font or any ui thing that is actually visible on the browser right and in second case, if uh, if user is requesting to the controller and need to fetch some data from the database, then what will we do? It will uh, move to the model and with the help of model, it will get the data from the database. Then this data will be passed to the view and then the view and the data will be directly visible to the end user. Right. I hope you understand that. So now let's see how we can create a view file. Right. So for that, let's move on our project. And inside this, we have a directory which is resources. Inside the resources, again, we have a one more directory which is views. Inside this views, we are actually uh, putting our all of the files related to the view. And there you can see that uh, we one file is already created by the Laravel by default, which is welcome.blade.php. Similarly, you can create one more file, let's say home.blade.php. And there you can put any tag, let's say home page or something right and this is how we can create our view file manually that's all just need to go in this folder create one file put some html content all right so now let's see how we can call it from the browser but wait before that we can also see how we can create the view files with the help of command line so i'm just moving on the terminal stopping the uh, php artisan server clearing it out and then put their command php artisan make colon view and your view name keep in mind view should be start with the small letter this is the laravel standard otherwise you can create it with the capital letter also but if you follow if we will follow the standards we should uh, start with the small letter so just put there uh, home we already have so let me make there about and you don't need to put there about dot blade dot php just simply put about it will automatically add the prefix with it which is blade dot php right so if you just open this file there is some blank html you can put some h1 tag and say that about page so we know that how we can create views with the help of manually file and with the help of command right so how we can call them so for call them there are two ways we can use the routers directly or we can uh, you can say that we can uh, call them from the controller also. So let's see how we can call them directly from the uh, router. So let's open the web.php and this is very simple. Simply put their view scope resolution method, router view scope resolution method and then put, put the path where you want to access. So I want to access my home view at the home URL and then put your view name also and don't put their home dead blood dead uh, blood dot php sorry home dot blade dot php because it will automatically get the extension you need to need to put the first uh, level thing right okay so after that if you will try to visit their local host 
colon 8000 and then you will put home you can see that this is not visible because we have to start after creating the blade we have to start the php uh, artisan server also right which i just forgot all right and now you can see that this is perfectly visible perfect okay similarly you can create one more uh, view for the about you can one more out for the about and about is also visible right even if you want you can put anything let's say if i just put there any it will also work there is no issue but better to be if we just put some matching names right that's why i put there about okay okay so the next thing that we need to do uh how we can call these uh views from the controller so for that we also need a controller in last part we created one controller but for now i just deleted so that we can just start from the fresh so let's create a controller also i already created a detailed video in the this playlist maybe this is just previous video right you can watch if you want to get to know detailed thing about the uh, controllers so just put a command php artisan make controller and controller name which is user controller hit enter you can see that controller is created and now if you want to load any view there you can say simply say that function user home and inside this function let's return put a view and there you can put your home or any view name now how we can call this controller again you need to go to the view and there uh, you can simply put their route colon get and inside this you have to put the path let's say i want to put their user home you can put any path and in second parameter we have to give the file name right so which uh this is actually uh pre-important from the last file i just forget to remove it so you have to import your uh, user controller there so how you can import either you can put simply this path app dot dot http dot controllers then your uh, uh, controller name or otherwise you can just copy it use paste there and then simply put put user controller controller like this right or you can copy this path from there also if you want now the next thing is you can just put your class name uh, there with the colon like uh, with scope resolution method and class and in second parameter of this array in second item you can put your method name method name is user home like this so now let's see how we can call it now you can simply put user home again after creating the controller we have to again start the php server I just forgot sorry for that and now you can see that still this is completely working fine similarly you can create one more route for about user also right and there again you can create one more uh, you can say that uh, function which is be user about and there put your view name and copy this function name inside the router function in the second parameter and again if you just want to search about user about this is working fine the next thing that we need to check which is uh, how we can create the nested view and call them so nested view is simply you can create any folder so let's say i want to create a admin folder right and you can create that okay so i guess i just created this file right so you can simply create a folder there admin and inside this you can create any file so let's say my file name is login.blade.php you can do that right and even if you want to create let me delete it and if you want to create the same thing with the command line you can go to the command line stop it and simply put php artisan make colon view and there you can simply put your uh, folder name first let's say admin then dot and after that put their login and you will find there it will create a admin folder and then login.blade.php 
you can some put some text there let's say admin login or something right so now how we can call this uh, admin login so there is simple thing uh, if you want to call it from the router file you can say that admin right and you can say that admin dot login right so if you want to visit there if you will visit there admin uh, path again this is third time actually we just forget to start this php server and you can see that this is perfectly working fine and if you want to uh, call it from the help of controller then this is again very simple you can use their uh, admin login any function name and simply put their admin dot login and after that in a web.php you can simply create any route admin login and admin login like this and if you will try to visit their admin login this is perfectly working fine all right so next thing if you want to pass some data so let's say in about i want to pass something data for the user then how you can do that so let me show you so in about uh, if you want to do in the controller then create any variable name like name then you can access this inside the controller uh, in the this user function like dollar name like this and you can pass this to the uh, view file let's say user i want to put and there uh, i want to mention dollar name so if in the about view which is uh, simply there if you just put there hello and then in double curly braces you will put there user right uh, you have to just make this first key as a variable there then it should visible so let me check okay this is not visible let me see why this is not visible okay actually we have to put there user uh, about and then anil and here you can see that this is work perfectly working fine similarly uh, there is a small query because we are just doing it with the controller and this is very easy how you can pass this dynamic data directly to the uh, route file to the view right this is a one thing now the next thing is if you want to check uh, if a uh, view is exist or not then how we can check so let me do it in the uh, let's do it with the admin login right so what you need to do first you have to import the view facade first so just simply use their u illuminate illuminate then you have to put support right i guess support is fine then facade and then view let me see if there any typo seems this is perfectly fine so if we can if we can check there if view colon colon exist exist and then view name right which is admin dot login so if this is view if this view is present then let's show it else we can say that return view not found cool now let's try to access it admin login this is perf working perfectly fine and let's say if someone just try to uh, try to get the uh, admin sign up which is not exist right so if you just try to do that here you can see that page not found view not found right so this with this line we can check if a uh, view it is exist or not all right so that's all for this part for interview questions what is view that can be asked how we can create view with the help of command line how we can check the view if this is exist or not these are the very important question can be asked in interviews thank you so much i'll request you to please subscribe my channel don't forget to like this video and put your feedback in comment section this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys